You have a lot of questions about Avengers Infinity War. I'm here to answer them. Hi everyone, welcome back to Geek Speak. My name is Jiggy Cruz. And if you want to see more Marvel content from a fan's perspective, please do subscribe on the link down below. For those of you who haven't seen Avengers Infinity War, stop right here. Don't watch this video. Spoilers galore right after this. So stop. Stop already. Come back when you've seen it. You'll have questions after. Come back to this video. Okay, so you're one of the millions who've seen Avengers Infinity War and you have a lot of questions. So I, I as a comic book fan, will try to answer as best I can. It's not gospel truth, it's just my opinion to keep you calm. But okay, let's start. First question, everyone asks me, Jiggy, are they all dead? Here's the thing, as a comic book fan, you read a comic book monthly, weekly for some titles and at the end of the comic book, the very last page, it's a cliffhanger. So just like this one, it's a cliffhanger. It's the first cliffhanger in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So relax. The heroes have to win. They always have to win. So let's wait for the next movie next year. Just calm down. They're not going to kill off the number one licensed character in Spider-Man. They're not going to kill off Black Panther, who recently made a killing in the box office. Let's all keep calm. That's all I can say. Relax. There's more to come. We've just seen the first half. What was the logo at the end credits, the bonus scene? I realized that there are many, many casual Marvel Cinematic Universe fans, many Marvel fans, who didn't know what the hell was the logo when Fury sent out this space SMS. So I'm here to tell you that the logo represents Captain Marvel and the next movie after Ant-Man and the Wasp coming in March of 2019, Brie Larson will play Carol Danvers in Marvel Studios' Captain Marvel. Also in that movie, reprising their roles Lee Pace as Ronan the Accuser, Digimon Honso as Korath. So this movie set in the past, in the 90s, and I'm pretty psyched Agent Phil Coulson returns to the MCU in Captain Marvel. Why did Doctor Strange give the Time Stone to Thanos? So I think that, of course, he saw 14,605,000 alternate futures and Stark said how many do we win? One. So I think that that one win, he saw that Stark had to live. That's why he bargained for Stark's life. He had to give the time stone. He said, Tony, there was no other way. So I think that for them to win, Doctor Strange had to give up the time stone. That's what I think. Where is Hawkeye? It's funny because back in the Avengers press conference in Singapore, Robert Downey Jr. was telling Joe Russo at the middle of filming, Hey, where's Renner? So Renner, Hawkeye, Clint Barton, has a special mission in the story, which I think he will play a role in Ant-Man and the Wasp. He will appear there right after the events of Civil War. The same with Scott Lang. They will be in Ant-Man and the Wasp, of course and in the fourth Avengers movie. So let's just wait for Hawkeye until he comes back. The people who disappeared into thin air at the end, were they random? I didn't think they were random because if you noticed, the original Avengers stayed alive. Tony Stark, Steve Rogers, Thor, Bruce Banner, Natasha Romanoff, and I think Clint Barton's still alive. So the OG Avengers are alive and I think that was done for a reason. We'll have to wait next year to find out why they were kept alive, which makes me scared. Will they die in the next? I don't know. I don't know about that one. The shot in the end, was that the Philippines? Yes, it was confirmed. ABS, CBN, GMA, Marie Lozano, and Lin Ching both confirmed from Marvel Studios, of course, with the help of Disney Philippines, that 
Indeed, yes, that was the Banawe Rice Terraces. The Philippines is part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Hooray! Where is Adam Warlock? Okay, guys, the comics Infinity Gauntlet, Infinity War, Infinity Crusade, they can't base it from that. They just took inspiration from those stories and put it here. We have to remember that the Marvel Cinematic Universe is called the universe for a specific reason because it's a separate universe. They have their own stories. So the writers and directors just get inspiration from the comic book. So unfortunately, Adam Warlock is not part of Infinity War, but he was teased at the end of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I think he comes in the fourth Avengers movie. We'll just have to wait and see. What will happen next? So I know it sucks. It's a year away, but hey, it's better than two years. Like Star Wars, you'll have to wait two years till episode nine from episode eight to nine, two year wait. So don't complain. Avengers 4 is coming next year. Hopefully April again, but they announced May. We'll have to wait. It's gonna come. But we're in good company because in July, Ant-Man and the Wasp will show. And I think that certain questions will be answered by that movie. Similarly with Captain Marvel in 2019, quarter one. I'm hoping February, but they announced March. Is that the end? Guys, no, it's not the end. But if you read the Vanity Fair interview of Kevin Feige, president of Marvel Studios, he was asked, how would you separate the Marvel Cinematic Universe or how would you organize them? So he said that the Marvel Cinematic Universe will be divided into two. Everything that happens before Avengers 4 and everything that happens after Avengers 4. So Avengers 4 will be that midpoint from these big phases. I heard, not confirmed, but they will restart a new phase one. Not super certain, but that's what they said. Do you have any more questions? Put it down on the link below and I'll answer you privately. You can DM me on Instagram at Jiggy Cruz and I am going to try my best to answer your question. Just so you know, I don't work for Marvel. I wish I'd work for Marvel, but this makes me feel like I'm an employee of Marvel answering these these questions after the movie but i'm not an expert i'm just a regular fan trying my best to explain to you guys what will happen if you like this quote unquote miami vice t-shirt of infinity war i think it's pretty cool you can get it at the globe store courtesy of 0917 special thanks to my good friend Mr. JC Gallegos for giving me this t-shirt. So for that, this has been Jiggy Cruz for Geek Speak. Talk to you guys next time. Bye.